Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. This is going to be your monthly reading for October 2023. Uh, this is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe. If you want to get a personal reading with me, there is a link um, in the description box below the video. You can click that link and that will take you to my booking site. Please keep in mind this is a general reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. Um, this is a reading for entertainment purposes only. So don't try to make it fit. And wow, look, you've got gossip again. Oh my goodness. So let's just get into this and see what's going on here for you for like at least the time that you're listening to this going forward into October. Okay, you've got wallflower, gossip, you have open relationship, you have passion. Okay, let's see what else. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Oh, geez, my shuffling skills are on par. Hey, let's see. Okay, you've got children. And let's see one more. Get this reading started. And courting man. Okay. So, Virgo, wallflower, limited potential, feeling shy, withholding. <clears throat> okay, this is kind of like, I don't know, Virgo, feeling kind of left out or just like, eh. withholding, not wanting, not wanting to put yourself out there in October. Let's see. Holding back. You're holding back. Why are you holding back, Virgo? Let's see what's going on. You're holding back. You're holding back, jumping in, getting out there on the dance floor. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. So I feel like you're kind of like trying to decide, weighing some options here, trying to decide, or you're waiting for someone. You're waiting for something to happen. Maybe you're waiting for someone to reach out to you. Um, you're not pursuing. That's for sure. You're, it feels more like you're waiting, you're waiting for something. Okay, let's see. Waiting for a decision to be made before you move forward. Okay, two of cups. Hmm. So, okay, it feels like there's something that you're wishing and hoping for in October and you're waiting to see if it arrives or comes to you before you make a decision or choose to go on a particular path, okay? So does that mean this thing is going to happen? Um, let's see. Huh. I feel like, yeah, I feel like whatever this wish, this ultimate fulfillment with the cups it's like an emotional wish and the ace of cups uh, a new love start or something that's going to make you extremely happy what you're waiting for i feel like it's going to come definitely the blessing is going to come so you're so as far as like love goes i do feel like you're not pursuing other relationships because maybe there's someone in particular that you have your heart set on and you're just kind of like all right i'm just going to give it just a just one last chance here i'm just gonna wait just one more just one more just one last try i'm just gonna wait if this person doesn't show up then i'm leaving that's what i kind of feel like october's energy is so new love this new love starts in october okay so either you get your wish um or a new love beginning happens either way <clears throat> you know what <laughs> either way it's a win-win for you Okay, so if this new love person, does, if, if someone doesn't come in with some kind of decision or something that you're waiting or makes a decision or chooses something that you're waiting for an answer to or waiting for a result on, if you don't hear back, um, there's a new opportunity for love. So it's good for you. Okay, and if they do, which I do feel like that could happen as well. Um, then you have a new love start with that person. For some of you, you're just waiting to find out about a pregnancy or uh, the sex of a baby as well. Um, hold on a second. <laughs> they were just, so I was asking if I should 
say the sex of a baby and they're saying no. Um, so it's it feels more like waiting for the test result to find out if someone's pregnant. So either that's you or it is someone else. But I feel like it's a yes. There, there is a pregnancy. Yes, there's a there's a, new, a definitely a new baby. Finding out about a new baby is coming. Okay. All right, let's see. You also have, okay, so gossip. So those people from yesterday won't shut the F up. <laughs> That's what I feel like is going on. Those people from yesterday are still talking about you. Hello, like mind your business. Yeah, secretly, could be a Pisces. Those people from yesterday will not F up, will not shut the F up. They're still talking behind the scenes, behind the curtain, behind the veil, whispering secrets to each other. Because I can't give a shit. Um, could be at your work. They're laboring hard. Absolutely. They're laboring hard. Yeah, look at this. I mean, seriously, I don't know, Virgo, if you are like that person who this is bothering, some of you might need to like, okay, for those of you who have it in your heart to speak up and say something, um, I'm, I'm hearing ignore it. And for those of you who have a tendency to not say anything, I'm hearing you need to, like, I don't know, go to human resources or you need to say something about these people. Because if it's something, so if you're on the job and there's a, this situation is happening and it's affecting your performance, you need to actually deal with this, like, directly, head on, okay? Because I, I feel like with this nine of wands, this is kind of like, re-strategizing after like kind of being this is like the wounded warrior because I, I do feel like there's it's it's putting some physical strain it could be putting some physical strain because there's whispering gossip things like that and you know that's so not cool <laughs> so not cool um you know when you're trying to build a team or be on a team and you're trying to work and you're trying to all work together on a project or do something and there's this lack of trust and this tearing down of relationships on, in a project or a team or something that you're working on with other people that like it needs to be called out okay but if you're like if you're the one who's doing all this gossiping and stuff and doing all this kind of stuff you need to step back and like rethink this whole thing and like maybe cut it out because it's it, it's it's going to come back to you okay so that's just a message for someone i'm not trying to you know call anybody out here or be you know up on the high horse here but I, I definitely see this wounded warrior energy secrets and lies eventually come out things get you know what's in the dark comes out into the light even though even the moon sheds some light so keep your eyes open and peeled for these gossipers now if it's not at work it could be like family members or friends so if you're able to ignore it and just walk away from it not have it yeah there's a family card Okay, so if you're able to just like put an end to it, cut your family members off, if that's something that you're thinking of doing and you want to do that, that you might have to do that, right? I'm not telling you to do that, but you might have to do that. Or if it's connected to, you know, some people that it feels mostly like family, if that's your situation, if you're able to walk away from it and just ignore it, do it. If you're not, you might need to like, put an end to this like put death like go to these people and just kind of like directly face them and speak your mind and then walk away okay might have something to do about a marriage ending as well some gossip or some talk about someone leaving a marriage or leaving a family situation okay now also open relationship is here and that was here yesterday now what else are they telling you about this so no commitment casual openness what else is going on with this okay some new communication coming in some clarity um so someone i feel like there's going to be some communication from it could be uh it could be an air sign, some kind of communication. Someone's curious. They want to know if you're sleeping with someone or if you're in some kind of like non-committed relationship with someone or if you're seeing someone, Aquarius energy here. If you're like <laughs> uh, somebody stalking or spying on you and I feel like it's, it's an air sign and they're stalking and spying on you 
Also, I forgot to mention that with the gossip, there might have been some kind of relationship with um, a, a Scorpio that you might have had that either you got into or you ended. And there's some kind of gossip surrounding that. Um, but as far as a casual relationship, there is someone who is curious, stalking, spying, trying to get at some truth to find out if you're sleeping around with someone. It could be an Aquarius, um, but there is an energy here of this person thinking or, or someone thinking that you are kind of just like freely running around with anyone and everyone. Okay, so you've got someone who's looking you up and they're looking up people you talk to and they're trying to piece together some kind of information to see if there's something going on with you and someone else and another person and their other person and that other person, you know, to see if you're just kind of running the town. So, or if, if you're, you know, just that fool kind of makes me feel like if you're just, you know, out being adventurous, <laughs> you know, or, or either sleeping with other people, um, or just being non-committal, or just having casual sex with other people, you know, like, I don't know what's going on, like, I don't know why this person is doing this, or if you're just doing that kind of energy, it could be a water sign as well, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, so they're, this person is definitely in October, might even be communicating with you and asking you if you're seeing anyone or if you're in like having any relations with someone or if you are I mean that is so off the cuff like who the hell asked that question but if you know them um they might feel like it's okay you might have that kind of relationship where they feel like it's okay to ask that question but yeah that's the question they're definitely curious and you know watching from behind the scenes trying to get some truth and clarity trying to find out Okay, so that's in October. You also have passion, chemistry, and a passionate feeling. Let's see what's going on here with this. Chemistry with someone. Mm. You have the Eight of Swords. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Some of you are cutting off some kind of a relationship with someone that you have like really strong chemistry with that leaves you feeling defeated or leaves you feeling insecure. Wow, this is a twin flame relationship. That might be a real struggle. So there's a twin flame connection. It could be with a Gemini again or of another Virgo. There's a twin flame connection here with someone or a deep love partnership here with someone that it looks like there's a decision that's being made where it feels like it's karmic. So October feels like there's some kind of physical connection that gets made between you and another person. Um, there might be a sleeping together kind of thing or just connecting with a twin, but it's karmic. So it, 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 it kind of like gives you this sense of not feeling good about yourself or feeling stuck or trapped or insecure or um, having some mental distress. Um, there, this feels like this relationship comes with some kind of like abuse of some sort this five of swords it's not it's not healthy i mean the lovers is very healthy because it's like two people it feels karmic like there's some kind of lesson here you know there's really strong passion and chemistry between the two of you but i don't feel like the relationship is healthy it wants to be healthy but i feel like it's masked by this physical connection i mean Yes, it's t it's masked by this like really strong physical connection. So it looks like somebody, I feel like you might be doing away with this relationship in October. Maybe some of you are finally cutting it off or you are just kind of like, that's it. You don't want to deal with the, the, the BS, the way you guys communicate. It's somebody like you connect with this person and um, then they... <sighs> then they kind of isolate and then they cut you off and but then they tell you that you're lovers and you're meant to be together but then they don't communicate with you or when they do they're short with their words like they kind of do a shutdown you know af especially after you're together so going forward in the month it's kind of like okay you connect with this person and there's 
like I said, there's passion and chemistry and there's hugs and everything feels great. And then they disappear, you know, that eight of swords, they just kind of go within and, you know, they, I don't know, they, they kind of do this like, oh, uh, you know, I got so much going on. They play this victim kind of thing. I, I can't. They cut you off and it's real confusing. I feel like you kind of get in this like, yeah, you know what? Goodbye. You're done with it. <laughs> you're done with it. You're not dealing with it. So October's like, up. Oh, you're out later. Adios. Bye, Felipe. Bye, Felicia. Felicia. <laughs> Felicia. Hey, maybe that's somebody's name. All right. So you've got children, childlike, innocence, and fun. What's going on here? Okay. Whoa. All right. Somebody's getting custody of their children. For sure. Or there's some kind of court date involving children. Ooh. Somebody tried to take off with some kids. Or somebody's trying to take off with some kids. Now, this could be your kids. Your kids' kids. But somebody definitely... I mean, I don't like those messages. Anything to do with kids, if it's not positive, I don't like giving them. But I guess this is something here. Um, now, I don't feel like somebody's trying to steal somebody's kids. This feels like it might be another parent. Um, or somebody just tries to go against a custody order. That kind of thing. Or, you know, they take a vacation don't let the other parent know i mean if it's you virgo i do kind of feel like you're gonna like find out about it and yeah there's gonna be like a serious problem for this other person but if you wind up um also doing something with some children your children not somebody else's kids if you wind up like if you have kids and you end up doing something with your kids where it's the other parents time without their consent be careful um because there there's something to do with a legal thing or a court thing as well and i also feel like there's a there's also a court custody thing in october where somebody who lied about something with children um, gets found out the truth comes out about some kind of lie that was told in regards to children it could have something to do with insurance or some kind of welfare thing or something um, uh, school papers or something along those lines and there is kind of like whoever is the one that's standing in the truth about it has victory and that like some kind of legal process happens in October in regards to this like a truth comes out and it's it turns into like this kind of win-win like everything kind of gets settled you know um so I feel like there's there's like a fair situation that happens but like if somebody is being deceitful or um lying like there is going to be some kind of consequence for that as well so October is definitely going to be you know if you're the one who's filing suit against another person in regards to kids for some deceptive energy i feel like it's going to be in your favor it'll work out in your favor if you're the one who's having the suit filed against you for some kind of deceptive energy regarding kids it's going to work out in their favor so yeah that's the message okay now you also have courting men uniform professional male um okay Some of you are showing up for a new, uh, there's a new job opportunity. Um, there might be a job fair, I just heard. Now, courting male does represent, yeah, it's, it's, courting does represent romantic, but the first message I'm getting is professional. So some of you might be showing up at a job fair or, um, there's an apprentice position or maybe a fellowship or there is an internship of some sort that's going to come up that you're going to find out about. You might have been looking for something like that or you might find out about that. Either you're going to hire someone for that position or you're going to be the one taking that position. It's coming up in October, at least from now until October. Okay. Um, now, as far as courting... <laughs> 
you know, I'm going to just tell you. You know, yesterday I was talking all about there was something to do with meeting someone at a school. Now listen, (laughs) I was not talking about connecting with children, so get your mind out of the gutter. That's just, what the hell? I wasn't even talking about that. Um, Another adult connected to a university, college, a school, maybe another parent or um, whatever, on the job, that kind of thing. That energy is still playing out here, okay? Um, But this time, I feel like this person starts courting. So male or female, this person starts courting you, is asking you out, okay? So I don't know, you're dropping your kids off at school or, you know, it could be the bus driver, some kind of connection to a school kind of thing. Let me see what else here. Crossing guard. Oh, (laughs) crossing guard has the hots for you, Virgo. Watch out. Crossing guard's like, I don't know. Oh, okay. Now they're just saying the crossing guard is like older, (laughs) like late 50s into their 60s has like this little part-time gig <laughs> crossing card kind of thing <laughs> oh jeez. yeah some of you're striking up some conversation and then a crossing guard asks you out okay i mean hey love is love comes where it you know just happens when it have divine timing right there there you go virgo i mean what do you want to say love happens when it happens you know you can't help who you fall in love with you can choose not you can choose not to go with them but you can't help who you love right okay so yeah divine timing some of you it's the person down the street on the corner that is that's your true soulmate virgo okay so listen i know i'm sorry i made this huge promise and i told you guys that i was going to do an hour reading um today i have been sneezing like a cat in a in a fur ball dryer i have not stopped sneezing all day so i don't know what's going on but i took some medicine so i got that sneezy stuffy achy head fever stuff going on and um i am legit just gonna blow through this and then get my butt in bed um because it's starting the effects of this stuff is starting to kick in i can feel it my eyes are like rolling the back of my head like a shark that just bit into a human nope all right let's see just been into a piece of flesh jaws and all all right so endure and be patient virgo that's your first message i promise we will get back to our hour readings as soon as we get through the seasonal change oh putting in the effort okay so this is definitely a message virgo um all this effort and and work that you've been putting in to something here in your life just be patient the results will come okay whatever that means um rome was built in a day <clears throat> happens over time um it's just like it takes a while to gain weight it takes a while to lose right so you see the results later on so whatever you're working on whatever you're putting in the daily grind endure keep doing it be patient the results are going to come that's like a real strong affirmation okay you've got yeah so it could be something to do with work you're trying to recoup your finances also <clears throat> keep doing it keep putting in that effort keep building them finances um it will definitely return um in the past returns so that's definitely going to be um, that money that you had before that you might have lost will come back around okay and that's what that past returns now for some of you it could be a love thing and we did see that yesterday so that's still on the table but i feel like in context with the rest of these cards this has to do mostly with some kind of financial loss so if you had at one point had a decent little nest egg and over time especially these last couple of years, um, things have been dwindling and you've been working harder, working harder and pay raises have gone up, but so has inflation. And so we're all back to where we started. If you feel like you just can't, you just can't get over that threshold, just keep putting in effort. Things are going to shift. Things are going to change. That past situation that was before where you were in a good place, whatever that means, 
or whatever was going on at that time where your money was good, that's coming back around again. So you can make that mean whatever you want, but that's coming back. And things that you're going to be able to recoup with your finances. Oh, I forgot to text my mom. Shoot. She's like, where are you? I'm so bad. I'm such a bad texter. Okay. All right. And for some of you, the past is also returning for a committed love relationship, Virgo. Okay. All right. I'm ready for a new love start. Whoa. Okay. I'm just putting that out there, Virgo. Just putting that out there. Just keep it. Just keep it to yourself, Virgo. I know some of you are like, no, don't want the past back. But you know what? Some of you do. So whoever needs to hear that, that's your message. Let me see what your romance are. Okay. Express. I'm sorry. Calling in your soulmate. So, okay. you got someone calling you. Soulmate calling you. You also have your prayers, affirmations, just visualizations help bring you together. There's your new love. A new person also stirs your romantic feelings holy shh some of you do have a past coming back for a committed love relationship but there's also a new love beginning and happening in your life remember i told you in the very beginning it was a win-win don't worry about a thing because every little thing is gonna be all right i said don't worry about a thing did you ever see that little boy sing that song? You guys, I don't know if you've ever seen that. It's pretty old. That little boy is on TikTok or Instagram. I saw it years ago. And he sings that song. And he has the sweetest little face. And I swear, my heart just lights up like a Christmas tree. When I listen to him and look at his face when he sings, it is the purest innocence in a child so sincere so authentic oh my gosh and i just saw his face when i was singing that song and i just feel like go find that video if you haven't seen it it will just give you good love goosebumps it'll make your heart swell just give you the good feels i love it when kids do stuff okay give your relationship a chance work on your partnership okay so you have a couple of options happening here, Virgo. You can give your relationship a chance, especially that past person that wants a committed relationship, or you can give a new relationship a chance, right? So of course, at the end of the day, like I said, I don't ever tell you guys what to do, right? And I'm not going to push my opinions on you, right? If you're in this, like I can tell you, this is what I see. How do you feel about that? And what do you want to do, right? If you don't want to give someone a past thing, don't. If you want to, go for it. But I can tell you what's coming, when what I see coming towards you. But, it, you know, at the end of the day, it's ultimately up to you. Because when you click off this video, it's your life. I'm not there. You got to make your decision. So, but those are your options. That's what I feel like is showing up here. All right, let's see. Your Chinese sign. Whoops. Virgo's Chinese signs. All right, year of the pig, year of the dog, year of the dog again, year of the tiger, year of the rat, year of the rooster, year of the dragon, year of the horse, double horse, year of the dragon again, year of the rat, again we're getting a lot of doubles you're the rooster again okay so if that's not you don't sweat it does not mean it's not your reading okay all right let's see oh here comes the the yawns and the johns all right someone is either 64 or born in 1964 we have august 24th august 31st always shows up September 15th. Oh, and by the way, if you have a birthday today, happy birthday to you. Let me see if anybody... I missed anyone. Hold on, you guys. One quick second. I always forget to bring this up. It's just terrible. Today is September 19th. Don't worry about a thing. Because every little thing is going to be all right. All right. Nobody so far that... Oh, 
Well, Ralph is September 20th, but I'm sure we'll get him tomorrow. I think that's it. But if you have a birthday, please do say you have a birthday here in the chat and the mods will give you a happy birthday shout out. Um, we have a, someone who has a birthday in October, so they could be a Libra. Okay, we have September 10th, September 3rd. <clears throat> All right, let's see. I'm getting the name Nick, Nicholas, or Nikki. I'm picking up Jen or Jennifer. Um, Neva, N E V A, N I V A, Neva, Najali, Najali. Okay, we have JP. Picking up a JP. Um, Ven or Van. <clears throat> Let's see. Jim. Oh, we have 1984 here. Uh, somebody has a Viper. Is that, what's a Viper? Is that a bike or car? A Viper. Okay, somebody is looking up your IPN or is looking up an IPN <laughs> number. IPN, what's an IPN? Okay, and 1980. And we have Jack, um, Jan, Janice, a lot of J's, Angel coming up here, Angel, um, Pin, P-I-N, or Pinja, or Ninja, we have a Ninja, right, like it's like right here, holy, three Ninjas, go Ninja, go Ninja, um, somebody likes PB and J, Somebody's on a PC. Somebody works for the police department. Nine Inch Nails, I just heard. Somebody's from Japan. Somebody's name is Jade. Um, okay, somebody's in New Jersey. Somebody's in Pennsylvania. Someone's in Virginia. Someone's in Delaware, North Dakota, Indiana. I feel like that song from the 80s with those micey mouse people. What were the, <laughs> what were the name of those kids? Do you remember those cartoons? I don't remember how it goes. That's like, there's some songs. Who's wearing Nikes right now? Are you wearing Nikes? Um, remember those, it was from like the, the 80s, late, or the mid 80s? Was it the 90s? It was those mice, or ma mouses, meese. How do you say that? <laughs> and they did like the map or the atlas or the states. I think you know what I mean. Okay. Um, uh, what else? Don't worry about a thing. Every little thing is going to be all right. Um, okay, Idaho. They just said Idaho. And... Is there any other messages for Virgos? I hope I got some of you guys states there. I know I'm doing the states, Nevada. Um, someone's birthday is in August. We have someone born in 1976. We have someone who is 45. We have someone born in 1970. Okay, someone's in AA. Someone is 57 or born in 1957. Um, New Zealand. I just heard New Zealand. Mm. India. All right. Someone is 29 or August 29th. And. Oh, big. Oh, they just said Zen, Zen, Z-E-N, and they're giving me nine, the number nine. Are someone seeing nines a lot? 
the number nine. Someone is 39. Okay. Yes. And just a couple of more. All right. All right. Someone's a doctor is becoming a doctor. Um, Duran Duran. Someone loves Duran Duran. Okay. Someone is from Egypt. Um, Alaska and Arkansas. Big Dr. Dre vibes. <laughs> okay. It's all right. <laughs> Dr. Dre vibes. Okay. Um, okay. Somebody... Somebody called somebody Shrek. <laughs> I don't <laughs> I don't understand. Somebody likes Drake. Now that's either Drake's from like Drake's coffee cakes from like Seinfeld. Somebody likes Seinfeld or Drake the musician. Like Drake's coffee cakes, I think are like on the East Coast, Northeast, Drake's. Alright, um, and somebody's got like a whole collection of like 33s. And if you don't know what I mean when I say 33s, get off my channel. <laughs> if you know what I mean when I say a collection of 33s, put it in the comments or write it in the chat. Because I'm not saying anything else. You got to know what I mean when I say 33s. Um, someone just either bought or has bought or will be buying or has some kind of connection to Kia, the, the furniture store, Kia. And um, <laughs> this is TMI, but somebody needs to get their urethra tricked. <laughs> Something going on with someone's urethra. Okay. I've had enough of that disgustingness. All right, let's go on to your charms before I fall asleep. What the... Okay, Christmas music, significant for someone. Christmas carols, they're saying. Maybe someone's name is Carol or Carolyn. Um, someone will be, like, somebody's going to be, like, singing carols or be Carolyn this Christmas. That's real strong. You got a stocking here, Christmas stocking. Um, somebody's going to get music in a stocking or maybe a mixtape. Somebody's going to make you a mixtape for Christmas and give it to you of all their songs of telling you how they feel. Oh, my gosh. That's so romantic. Like, I would love that. <laughs> um, and you also have, oh, you've got a heart with a moon, the stars, and Saturn. Um, okay. Um, you've got, like, a love connection with someone that also loves, like, is totally into astrology, the planets, all the stuff that, if you're into that, all the stuff that you're into. Absolutely. And their favorite color is bluish green or aquamarine. I just have to say. Uh, sorry about that. Hey, you guys. Sorry. The video just cut off. I don't know what happened. And when I went back, I can't even remember what I was saying. So hopefully you received the bulk of the messages. I hope you guys have a fantastic evening. I will be back here tomorrow as per usual. Have a fantastic evening. Don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe on your way out. And yeah, I'll see you all back here tomorrow. Bye.